Hello! In this guide we'll be talking about how to do motion capture cleanup with iClone. Now as you can see I've got my secret order assassin character ready to go. She's got a lightsaber which is going to be very important to these animations. I've attached it to her right hand. And the other thing you should take note of, I've disabled physics and soft cloth. Now the reason for this is physics a, um, speeds up iClone a little bit and the soft cloth, I don't want the fabric of her costume, especially this bit here, flowing around the character when I'm trying to correct it because I need to be able to see what she's doing very clearly without that getting in the way. And this just makes it a lot, whole lot easier. So, let's get started. Now over here, we've got Holly 2, and this is the animation I'm going to be using. This is all the animations that I've captured from the motion capture session, but Holly 2 is the one I'm going to use now. So I'm going to drag it over to the character. And as you can see, she's taken up the pose. And then down here in the timeline, you can see that the animation is there. Now, you need the timeline for what we're going to be doing. If you don't have it enabled, you go up to Window here, and then you can enable it here for timeline. Now, it's absolutely essential you have that, um, and you'll see why as we go forward. So, what we're going to, need to do now is watch through the animation, and we're going to be looking for things that stand out as uh, you know, glitches, things where it's not as smooth as we'd like, um, this is where frames have gone missing, or sometimes you know, her arm might go through her body. Now these are things we can fix very easily, but we need to find out where they are. So, let's play. She's standing there, there we go. Now, as you can see there, some of the lightsaber twirling was a bit uh, unsteady, so I'm going to go back and go through this is fine so far and that looks like if you look here it kind of goes very smoothly and it kind of stops and then suddenly she's back to moving very quickly now, we're going to fix that. So we've, what we have to do is identify where the problem is. So it looks like she stops moving about here. So what we're going to do is put a break in there. And then we're going to go forward because we kind of, this, her lightsaber is kind of moving very slowly but the rest of her isn't. This is where the motion capture suit didn't quite get the, a smooth movement. And this happens even with big budget Hollywood films. So it's don't worry, we can fix this. So we're going to identify where she starts moving. And it looks about here. So what we're going to do is put another break in there. We get to delete this bit we don't want and drag that along here. So let's see how that transitions. See that's much smoother. Uh, here. Now this little transition curve here is also very important. Where it was originally is fine, but uh, depending on what the gap is and what you're fixing, you may need to adjust this. There's no set rule for the amount of time that you can use. You really just have to experiment and see what looks okay for the character. So let's go back here and see how it plays through. Right, so that first bit, that was fine. It does get a little bit choppy here. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. So let's see, that's... She kind of stops about there, I think. So we'll put a break in. It takes a moment to calculate the uh, break where the break should be. Then we go forward to uh, that looks right there. So we'll put another break in here and delete that move that to there. So let's see. 
That's much smoother. It doesn't look quite right, but we'll go cover that in in just a moment. Right, so that's the first part of the lightsaber jewel. Right, so the next thing we're going to be doing is fixing the way her arm moves. Now if you look, here it's fine, but as it progresses, it kind of passes through her for her hand passes through her forearm there, and as she twirls the lightsaber around, you can see that she's meant to grasp the lightsaber, so she's holding it with both hands. Well, what's happened here is the sensors haven't quite lined up, and so they're not positioned correctly for the lightsaber to be going through, passing through both hands. Now this is a very simple thing to fix, and <coughs> let's do it. So let's go back here, and you can see this part here is fine. Now so what we're going to do is in the modify panel we're going to go to animation, and then the edit motion layer tool, which let's get rid of that. Uh, this is the keyframing tool, which lets you uh, keyframe animations for characters. Now what we're going to do first is set as default and then press default. This creates a little marker that saves the character's exact position at this particular frame. Now because when you're keyframing it will the cyclone will automatically fill in where the animations are in between each marker. So this is where we want to start because this is fine and we want that to stay there. So we're going to go forward to here that looks like the place we need to fix so we're going to zoom in and get to the camera into a good position so we can see what we're doing now we're going to select her right arm joint I'm going to rotate it down just a little bit so then if as you can see it doesn't pass through her and she twirls the lightsaber around and then we get to here now what I think has happened here is the right hand is not quite at the right angle to meet the left so we're going to adjust both hands and kind of make them meet in the middle so that the animation feels a little bit more natural so let's start by moving that down and we're going to move her right wrist up a little bit yeah. and bring it that way I think we could rotate the camera around to see how it's looking as you can see her arm is passing through her body this is another common thing that will happen uh, when you're doing motion capture but it's again easy to fix so we've got we selected her right shoulder joint and this is the way we want to move it, so it's out a little bit and then down and move back in a little bit there we go see now her arm looks quite natural now we need to fix her left hand so we select it here and then zoom in a little bit closer so we see what we're doing and then we move that to there bring it up a little bit now, I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time getting exactly perfect positioning because this tutorial is not about getting exactly perfect positioning it's about showing you guys uh, how to correct your motion capture so I'm going to close the fist just to make it look like it's wrapped around the lightsaber uh, that will do I can zoom back out and now she's holding it properly. I'll go back and watch it through. So she's holding it there. Now we're going to go to the end of the segment, and as you can see, her hand kind of drifts a little bit. So we're going to fix that as well. So let's see. Here's fine, this is where we just finished, but it kind of drifts back. So what I think we can do is just go to the this is kind of where the swing kind of stops. So 
I think if we fix it here, it should be fine for the rest of the way. So again, we're going to zoom back in. We're going to bring that down. I think what we should do is bring the other hand up a little bit as well. Yeah. Let's bring this forward a little bit. That's a bit too much because it is adjusting too much of her body, so we'll uh, adjust the other hand. Yeah, I think that will work nicely. So let's have a look. This is where we were before. Uh, let's get that out of the way. Mm, it's kind of close. hand again. Bring it up. Forward. A bit more. Let's zoom back out. Oops, still needs a little bit more. Yeah, this can be a little bit time consuming, but it's worth putting the time in because then you get the characters moving the way you want. Uh, this is why you need to zoom in. Just a little more. There we go. Let's have a closer look. Yep, I think that will work. So we're going to zoom back out. Let's close this and watch the whole thing play through. There we go, one smooth uh, lightsaber motion. So once you've gone through the cleanup process for your motion capture footage, you need to save it because all the extra bits, all the fixes, they're not automatically stored when uh, with the animation that you captured. So what I do is create a little folder which is separate from the raw motion capture footage so I don't get them mixed up. So I'll create a little temporary one here for the, this video. Um, so this segment is 246 frames. So if you go to project settings, set that to 246, press enter. And so all we have, the entire project now consists of that. Now I find that if you, even when you've got the, just the regions selected, if you save without doing this, you'll get the entire 4,000 frames worth of animation, even if your character is just standing there doing nothing. So we just want this. So I've done that, and then simply press that to add the animation to your content library. It takes a little while to save it and then of course you need to give it names so lightsaber dual start so what we're going to do now is cut the video and I'm going to go through the entire Holly 2 animation and do all the cleanup and then when you see me again I'll have finished it and you can see the entire finished cleanup process. And here's one I prepared earlier. Now what I've done is I've gone through the entire Holly 2 animation. Um, I've cleaned up all the issues we covered before. So the hand's not holding the lightsaber properly, you know, her arms passing through her body in a way it really shouldn't, and of course missing frames like we covered at the very beginning of the video. Let's play through the animation and have a look to see how it looks. Now, because it should all be very smooth, we can enable physics and soft cloth. And now this will help make the uh, soft parts of a costume move. And this is also a very good trick to find out if you did miss any uh, gaps because it will cause a sudden 
shake with the costume so the soft parts will suddenly flare out in all directions because it's not really expecting that so we're going to do that we'll set it to by frame and let's have a look yeah it's all very smooth the soft materials moving quite nicely And there we go, one smooth lightsaber animation. And obviously there's another side to this which um, I don't want to reveal too much yet because it's still working on the film. So I think I've covered everything. I look forward to seeing what you do with the Perception Neuron motion capture suit. Good luck!